Folds. I'm excited. I haven't seen this man in so long. No one has, man. The nation has been waiting. <laughs> man, the world needs another villager. But here comes the Sheik right now with the relentless assault. Yeah, this is Captain Awesome. Trademark conservative play style at the ledge. Lloyds, Bears. Thankfully, no trip sapling because it's not Evo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but maybe he got some tree tech of his own, you know? He does, though. He does. And we're going to see Kool-Aid just try and get as much percent in as he can for every slight misstep from Captain Awesome. I love his usage of a uh, dare on that ledge because it could, it could put out a huge hitbox. And the way he did it, he auto canceled it onto the Smashville platform when it was above him. So there was like kind of no risk there. Yeah, a surprisingly smart player, although he has what is seemingly not the most interesting playstyle. Yeah, but with those B reverses, he has that tech skill on lock, being able to showcase all of his tools to be able to handle Kool Aid on this ledge. And, you know, Kool Aid, he, he's the one with the upper hand right now. He has this yeah. percent lead. Oh, wow. Boy, eating all the needles. Big opportunity for Captain Awesome, but he's just going to get knocked off stage and go back to that trademark side B. Okay. That Nair trade right now. If you want to win against Sheik, being able to trade with her hitboxes is incredible. Very important. Julie looking for the needles of bouncing fish right there, but Captain Awesome is pretty wise to it. Ended up dodging out of the way. Nice spot dodge. That spot dodge was miraculous. Getting yeah. those uh, one-two jabs to kind of get Sheik off of her. Again, you said it, that B reverse, saving his life there. Making sure that bouncing fish didn't connect. Now Kool-Aid looking for blood. Kool-Aid is at that percent where he's throwing out those needles to try to get a tech chase situation. And that patience from that dare was incredible yep. because the dare was going to stuff out any approach from that up there. Great stuff from Kool-Aid. But he is going to have to seal the deal. I mean, 74%. It's, there's some things that can happen. That's all I'm saying. You know, there's some there's some tricks. There, there's some tree there's right some there tricks. coming really hot. Did, you, there, did he hear you? He said, yeah, I got some tree. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> some, some tree he has knowledge. That, that knowledge, dude. All right, back at it again. That back air. Back air going to six We got <laughs> villagers on screen. We got chic back air. Yeah, feeling. it's the first one, dude. <laughs> uh, the the previous set, I think we did it. We switched. We used. Right. Exactly. <laughs> All right, not getting the balloon pop, but big opportunity for damage. Gonna tie it up instead. I love Ooh, the, the down tilt. Oh wow! But then their great combo uh, no. breaker. No. All right. I don't know, man. Kool Aid. Stacking out a lot of percent, but didn't want to go for the gold quite yet. You can see Kool Aid slowly mixing up how he's uh, ledge guard, and he's getting a further understanding on how this villager is working. Um, we don't have many villagers in the Boston area. Other yeah. than Bobby Wasabi and Supercut every once in a while. So right. uh, Kool-Aid is, is enjoying the slow game because he's slowly figuring out how the character is working. Mm -hmm. wow, I love the use of his needles, but that bouncing fish may be a little questionable into the Lloyd. Definitely. The, the needles, it, it's very underrated in this matchup, I feel, because it puts the Sheik at a lower hitbox. Right. Or, or hurt box rather, so it can duck under like those bears oh, no. and those fairs. But the high recovery not going to save him because this throw into multiple swing shots. Bart Simpson in the building. Yeah, right. He's shooting, man. All right, we got the needles though. Kool-Aid probably looking for a bouncing fish follow up. This is probably the percent where he's. Yep, there it All is. All using but. aerial bouncing fish, trying to get that tech chase. He read him to his tech in place. All right, charging another full flip. The one upside for Kool Aid. In response to Captain Awesome's approach, he has plenty of time. Oh, oh got dodge. that air dodge, but no attack to come follow it. Oh, all right. Oh, wow. Just does it through the turnips. Honestly, even though he died to that, I, I, I was really impressed because yeah. he, he uses an underdeveloped um, mechanic in the game where you can hop on people's shields. And right. that, when you're out of jumps, that can serve as a, a beneficial kind of way to get out of a situation. Definitely. You know, would you rather be anti-aired or would you rather just jump out of the situation? Yeah, it's uh, the Fox special, you know? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Fox is able to do that for that third jump into aerial up smash. There okay, it is. Look right at there. it. That's yeah. so clean, dude. I love it, but uh, Kool-Aid with the great reaction time getting that up there. But we're going to go back into the home turf of Villager. Now, I mean, I would say Kool-Aid was the favorite to win by a fair margin, too. So I would say that was still an impressive game from Captain Austin. That was Keeping incredible. That had me at the end of my seat, DG. I mean, eventually it got me there. It took a while, <laughs> but yeah. yeah it was a slow train. Yeah. All right, we got the follow-ups. 19%. Wow. Sick near from Captain Austin. Little extension there. And now Captain Awesome's mixing up what he's doing at the ledge as opposed to Kool-Aid mixing up the ledge guards. I kind of like it. A little Lloyd stall into fair has been good. 
but all things said and done, Kool-Aid's still keeping it even. Uh, unfortunate right there. Um, when a villager uses grab, you know, it's a poor kind of grab, so you, you know they have a read on what they're going to do, so to see it miss like that, that's very unfortunate by Captain Awesome. Yeah. Kool-Aid trying to probably drop down and be reverse enables, but it cost him. Yikes. Okay. Loving that Vanish right there, giving him the free stage control because of the win box. Back at it with the Lloyd. All right, Captain Austin taking a, a rare tread onto the middle of the stage. Yeah, he had a read on those jumps by Kool-Aid with those fares, but however, Kool-Aid uh, with the slick hurt box being able to slide through it and get those fares of, of his own. Oh my god. Yeah, the signature Kool-Aid forward smashes, dude. It comes once a set. Oh, okay. uh, he makes a bad move look good. Some interesting coverage, and there it is. Man. Yeah, the uh, vanish Vanish disappearing from those turnups and, you know, exchanging that for a kill. Great stuff from Kool-Aid. Looks like Captain Awesome wasn't really ready for that, just trying to throw out a hitbox to avoid an up air, but wasn't ready for the up B. Wow, there are the combos. Looking like mess. What the heck is this? Definitely. Villager's uh, anti-combo game is excellent. All right, well, he's going to need some of it right now. Back to the ledge, it looks like. I love his uh, Captain Awesome's use of Lloyd because he can block those needles, as you see right there. Whenever he's half a stage away, he can throw that out, anticipating needles. Wow, I love it. All things considered, though, man, Kool-Aid still with a comfortable lead. A lot of the kills, uh, the one kill so far has been a crazy tree interaction. Otherwise, Captain Awesome does have a rough time sealing the deal. He's going to need to make something happen, preferably uh, towards the middle of the stage. Oh, Nair's huge. Yeah, exactly Kool-Aid right. rolling towards the stage, and you know, this is kind of the position where Captain Awesome wants him because he's kind of cornering him. But uh, Kool-Aid being able to regain that stage control and, and giving it a little bit back just to charge those needles. Oh, wow. All right. I love that dash attack. It's snecked under the, the, the Lloyd, being yep. able to get that counter poke. Wow. Love it. Oh, doesn't connect with the fair, though. See, Captain Awesome putting the pressure on. He even snuck the raw in there to get the bear instead of the fair. Yeah, because uh, when, when uh, villagers throw out that Lloyd, they kind of want you to either jump or throw out a shield. So guessing that jump, that raw barrier can be very handy. Nice pressure with the grenade from Kool-Aid, but Captain Awesome has him on the back foot right now. Speaking of back foot, nice bear. Oh my god, the, the balloons made it so that it was it, it extended yep. into that uh, standing position on that ledge trap. I really like that by Kool-Aid. Wow, I love the needles into charge needles from Kool-Aid. Captain Austin still just trying to find some way to get this stock off. Bowling ball is not going to do it. Up to is sort of looking good at this percent though. Oh, what the Oh, heck? the Lloyd not coming out, but that bouncing fish will wow. secure the stock, you know. Just did it to him. All right, well, solid run from Captain Awesome. And here it is, <laughs> one more time. The tree. Into nothing, into nothing. <laughs> yeah. But oh, yeah, it was vanish. the Vanish. Yeah. Yeah. Through the turnips with the, the Vanish, looking so good. And then just really out of nowhere, decided to do it to him. Because mm -hmm. uh, at that kind of range, um, Captain Awesome was throwing out a lot of short hop bears, a lot yep. of uh, forward airs, yep. some Lloyds. So the Bouncing Fish is a great tool. Um, used sparringly, I might mention. Uh, to kind of combat those kind of tools. You know, he used it once that set, and right. the one time he used it, it got the kill.